Hi everyone, Heather Mahalik here with another Tip Tuesday. I wanna thank my coworker, Paul Lawrence, for this recommendation on something to show you this week. Here in UFED, if you go into settings, there is a category right past user permissions called SOPs. If you go into SOPs, there's different things you can do. So here we can add in agency forms. If there's forms that are of interest in your agency, um, you can go and add those at any point in time. So if I go in and I can do in-field agency forms, I'll see different guides. So maybe you have a consent form that you want people to be able to sign before you do extractions. Those can be added here. You can also have default paths for additional documentation, whether it's tips or blogs or anything that's going to assist. And then down here under guidance mode, you'll see something view and edit. If you're a senior examiner, you may wanna choose edit mode so you can make things easier for those that are going to do extractions after you have set things up for them. So I'm gonna choose safe. And then what I have over here is guidance. So it says this stage has no guidance. I can click on edit and I can say I wanna add guidance and I'll say S10e, for example, if they have a Samsung S10e. Always try chat capture and make sure to leverage generic or Qualcomm Live. Just something that makes sense. So this is you just giving guidance. You can include images. Um, you can require that the user actually checks a box saying that they followed your guidance. And then you can click save. So once you have this guidance in there, as they are having issues, you could search, let's say it's an iPhone. You could search for iPhone 10. Maybe you're assisting them on getting into DFU mode or when you want them to use Checkmate and things like that. If it's an Android device, possibly defining lock screens and different hurdles that they may face. So use this, leverage this, and I hope that you find it extremely useful in your investigations.